All right, folks, today we're going to be measuring the dimensions for our birdhouse. We have three pieces of wood that we're going to use. You'll notice that I've glued together two pieces of wood for mine, but you will probably have a solid piece of wood for yours. Over on the left hand side, I have my ruler and my T square, my directions, and a pencil. So, First, we're going to start off with our A, A, and E piece. I also have some of the dimensions here on the second page that I'm going to be putting on the screen. So we'll start with A, A, and E, and I'm going to be using the smaller piece for that. This piece just happens to be four inches wide, and our piece E is going to be four inches. So we got lucky there. I'm just gonna measure across here to confirm that it is four inches and I don't need to measure this way. Piece E is a square. It's four inches by four inches. So I am going to go ahead and measure across from the end to at four inches. I'll mark four inches and I'll get my T-square and draw a line at four inches. I'll go ahead and mark it as E. All right, now time for piece A. I'm gonna make a small gap here. This gap is for my saw blade to cut, the width of my saw blade to cut through as uh, I'm going on to my next piece. And for A, A is also four inches wide. So I don't need to measure that, but I do need to measure five and a half inches long. So I'm going to get my ruler and I'm gonna line it all up and I'm gonna find five and the halfway point on between five and six and mark five and a half. I'll now get my T-square and draw my line for five and a half. And this is piece A. I have two, piece, two A pieces. So I'm going to do another line. I'll make my cut line for my saw. And now I will measure my second A. My second A will also be five and a half, so I'm going to five and halfway between five and six. And I use my T square to draw my straight line. And I'm going to mark this as A. Okay, I'm going to come back to piece E because we'll do something special with that at the end but I'm going to just put uh, this piece up away from me for now and we'll come back to it. All right, next I'm going to, I'm gonna go up on this page. So I'm gonna do pieces D. Uh, we've got two D pieces for this. And for that, I'm going to get one of our larger pieces. Now it just so happens that mine are uneven at the end, so I'm just gonna draw a line here at the end so that I've got a straight line to measure off of, and I'll cut that at some point when I make my birdhouse. All right, pieces D, or uh, the size, the length and the width for piece D is six inches and eight and three quarters of an inch. Now, this particular piece of wood is eight inches wide. So I'm gonna have to measure eight and three quarters of an inch the length of this piece because I can't quite fit it in on the other piece or the other way. So I'm gonna line up my ruler. I'm gonna find eight and I'm gonna count forward one quarter, two quarter, three quarters and make a mark. I'll now use my, use my T-square to draw a line all the way across. 
And while I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and draw my second line for the width of my blade. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and measure my second eight and three quarters. Eight and one, two, three quarters. And I'll draw my second line. All right, so I've got two, eight and three quarters. Now I need to measure six inches across. I'm going to find six on the ruler. I'm actually gonna go ahead and mark this at several different points. That way I can make sure I'm drawing a straight line all the way across. So I marked it at four different spots. And I'll get my T-square again, line it up on the end, make sure that everything's lined up straight. And I'll draw my line straight across. All right, this is piece D. So I'm gonna write D here and D here. Now with piece D, a piece D will eventually become the triangle part of our birdhouse. And so we're gonna go ahead and measure out where that triangle is gonna be located uh, at this point. So if the width of our, of our piece D is six, I need to find the middle of six. So six divided by two is three. I'm gonna make a mark at three. And our triangle is going to go down to three inches as well from the top. So I'm going to mark three inches from the top over here on the side, three inches from the top on the other side. And now I'm going to connect those lines. So I'm connecting my three inch line down with my middle line. And I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. All right, so you can see how that's gonna make the roof of our birdhouse. I'm gonna do that over here as well. So I'm gonna find the three inch mark here in the middle. And then I'm gonna measure down three inches on the side and three inches on the side. And now I'll connect. All right, so piece D is complete. I'm gonna put piece D up here at the top and now our last piece, pieces C and B. Pieces C and B are both gonna make up the roof and C will overlap B. So B will be just a little bit shorter than C. All right, what's really nice about this piece again is that this piece will be eight inches. So we do not have to draw our line and measure one way because we already know that that's eight inches. We will, however, be measuring the width of it. Now, just like I did before, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a straight line across the end of this one because this is not straight. Now, you might already have a straight piece, but I'm gonna start that off so I can measure off of a straight line. All right, for our piece C, C is six and a quarter inch. So I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna go forward to six and one quarter and mark it. I'll do this at the bottom too, just to make sure I'm getting straight lines across these pieces that are glued together. And I'll draw my straight line. So this was piece C. 
for piece B, I'll make sure I make a line for my blade width. And now I'm going to be measuring to five and a quarter. Piece C was six and a quarter. Piece five is five and a quarter. So I'm going to line up and go to five and a quarter and mark five and a quarter. And I'll draw, draw my straight line. I'll mark B on here. And we are finished with this piece. All right, there's one more piece that we're going to go back to. So I'm going to put these two off to the side, the big piece off to the side. And like I said, we were going to go back to piece E at the end. The reason for that is if we look at piece E on our directions, E kind of has a weird shape to it. Uh, what we want to have happen is we don't want E to be a square because we want rain and other materials to be able to flow out of the bottom of this birdhouse and so that it doesn't get flooded. So we're going to make some little triangles around E. And what we'll do is we'll make one inch triangles. So I'll measure to one inch and then I'll measure again to one inch and I'll draw a line across. I'm going to measure to one inch and one inch again and I'm drawing another line across. So I'm just going to repeat this again. One inch, one inch, and I'm going to connect it with my line. And one last one. One inch. One inch. And I'm connecting. Okay, when we go and make this piece, we'll cut this original piece, the E, and then we'll cut off the little ends of it as well. So if we look at it, we've got A, A, and E, D, and D, and B, and C. Be safe and good luck.